Hi, I'm Dr. Deb, and this is Sahifa, October 31st. I am here with Nick Mitchell, Mike Luria, and Rob Hoiseth, who are members of a fluke tog team. And what is that? <laughs> All right, so fluke tog is where you build a, a plane, a glider, uh, and your team pushes it off a platform over the water, and hopefully, if it's designed right, it flies. And this is a competition sponsored by Red Bull. So how did we get into the fluke tog contest? Well, last spring I was surfing the net and I saw that Red Bull was going to do a fluke tog. And I knew they did one in Minneapolis because I'm from Minnesota. And they had like 20,000 people. I thought, hey, that'd be cool if the sixth grade guys built one. And I talked to Mike and Nick and Joseph Teague and we said, yeah. we." Uh, so we started it last spring. Mike, what does it look like? <laughs> well... Uh, and I don't want to give too much away, but what it looks like right now, it, it's kind of like one of those old Michelangelo kind of drawings of when the airplanes were just conceptualized. So that's kind of like the idea. Um, it's not the prettiest plane, but I could tell that we're going to go all the way to Banana Island. I know that. <laughs> So you you get in this contraption. He gets it. You <laughs> get in the yes. contraption. Yeah. And what do you do? <laughs> Hang on for dear life, I guess. Uh, well, if I mean, we've put a lot of pl planning into this. And actually, the, the students have been involved as well in the conceptual conceptualization and design. Uh, last year, I actually had my, when, when we started to enter the competition, I had my science students designing models. So we've done a lot of modeling. We've done a lot of hours and hours of planning and, and thinking behind it. So hopefully, I mean, really, all we do is we push it off. And if the design's right, it glides. Yeah, but how far off the water are you? Oh, well, the platform's pretty high. The platform's six meters over the water, and then the glider sits on a, a, a rolling kind of cart that's almost four meters tall. So we'll be about, I'll be about 10 meters over, over the water. So hopefully we'll glide well. <laughs> so the contraption that goes the farthest wins, is that, is that accurate? Well, yeah, there's, yes. there's points for who goes the farthest distance. There's also points for our show. And we have uh, a, a little show where Nick is the teacher and, and we're the naughty uh, students. Nick gives us an F and then we push him off. So that's, and, we're, and we're doing that to Alice Cooper's schools out for and, the summer. And then the other, so that's the third. And the other third is how far it goes. And then the last one is the design of the plane. So, I mean, so there's a good chance that we might pull it off. We're the dark horse. <laughs> the underdogs, yes. Mm -hmm. Who are the other contestants, and how did you actually get in? Yeah, so there was a ton of teams. I forget how many. Hundreds. Hundreds of applications. So we were selected. We were one of about 30 to 40 teams, I think, at this point, that are still in the running. Uh, we had to put together a whole application. We put a video with the students that were involved in the, in the design. Um, and, you know, we, we, coming from a school, we had a lot of energy, a lot of enthusiasm. So I think that was our, our, our driving force behind getting, getting in. And the esprit de corps has been fairly strong among the team. You've worked um, many nights after school. And we had just help from, like, Jimmy Leapert doing the wheels to Joseph Teague doing the wing to Alan Little just being our go-to guy for ideas. And help just came out from the guys, the how guys driving the trucks. We had to bring it down to the museum the other night, and the wing's flapping up, and Francis is driving the truck. Like, ah! Oh. So everybody's been very helpful. Yeah, Jeff Janay, Stefan oh, Beck. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. thanks. Yep. Uh, so, um, how can we watch? When, where, what time? Um, give us the details. All right, so, um, gates open at 11 o'clock. You need to go to the mu uh, Museum of Islamic Arts Park. Um, and, it, well, Friday, this is Friday. Friday. This is Friday, November 1st. Gates open at 11, but the first plane, which is us, for some reason, I'm not sure what the yeah, one. psychology <laughs> is of this, but the ASD plane goes off first at 1 p.m. So that's, and it's free of charge, so everyone can go. It'll be a lot of fun. They're, they're thinking maybe 20,000 people. We don't know. Yeah, it could be a lot of people. Oh, my goodness. So should we wear a certain color of T-shirt? Um, anything that you want us to do to cheer you on? Bring, bring, bring band-aids. <laughs> well, our, I mean, our theme is, is school and ASD. So, I mean, any ASD paraphernalia, you know, just right. cheer for, for Team ASD, really. Right. So, Team ASD will be there for you. Yeah. Come out and watch, and boy, you never know. <laughs> Just so Nick doesn't get hurt. That's number one. Although we did, sign, we, we did have to sign waivers, so. 
<laughs> and that's Sahifa this week. The um, sheer creativity and talent of our teachers. <laughs> Thank you.